Good morning students. Our topic for today is simultaneous linear equations, known as system of linear equations. We are going to learn in detail about what is system of linear equations and also the various methods required to solve system of linear equations. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to differentiate between linear equation and quadratic equation. You should also be able to use different methods to solve system of linear equations known as simultaneous linear equations. All right. Um, what is a linear equation? Remember that a linear equation what is a polynomial equation of degree 1. Remember that if you have x to the power of 1, this is what we call linear, where the highest degree or power of the unknown variable is 1. So naturally, if it is to the power of 1, we don't normally write it. So when you have x to the power of 2, this is what we call what quadratic. Quadratic. If it is to the power of 3, we call it what? Cubic. If it is the power of 4, we call it quartic, and so on. So linear equation is, a, is an equation of degree 1. For example, if you have x plus 2 equal to 5, this is an equation because of the equality sign, right? And we have an unknown variable which we are looking for. Uh, we are talking about a number here which can be added to 2 to make it 5. So this is an equation. It is a linear equation because it has a power of 1. That is the highest degree you can see in that equation. But in quadratic equation, the highest power you can see is power of 2. So what is we have seen linear equation, which is something like this. So what is simultaneous linear equation? Sometimes you can have more than one linear equation to solve together. So when you have that situation, we call it what? System of equations. If it is a linear equation, we call it system of linear equation. It could be two equations, three equations in that order. So example, um, if you have equation like this, x plus 2 equal to 5, just like the previous equation, we say that this equation is a linear equation of one unknown variable. So we have one unknown here. So what if you have x plus y equal to 7? This is also a linear equation because x has a power of 1, y also has a power of 1. So this is a linear equation containing two unknown variables. So we have two unknown here. So whenever you have equation like x plus y equal to 7, and maybe x minus y equal to 6, and you ask to solve these equations together, so what you have here is a system of equations. We have one equation and we have the second equation, making two equations. If you are given two equations, you have to have two unknown variables. You should remember that. If, if, if there are three, probably you have at least two unknown variables. So in this simultaneous linear equations, we are going to learn how to solve system of equations that contains two unknown variables. And we have different methods for solving system of equations. We have the elimination method, taken out of that. We have the substitution method. And we have the graphical method at this particular level. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to solve system of linear equations by elimination. So this is what we call a system of equations. You can see we have a linear equation and another linear equation all containing two unknown variables. So how can we solve this system of equations by elimination method? To solve this by elimination method, you have to make sure that either x or y have the same coefficients. If you want to eliminate x, you have to make sure that they have the same coefficient, both in equation 1 and equation 2. Likewise for y. So the first step is to name the equations. This is equation number one and this is equation number two. So next, you should decide either to eliminate x or y. I would like to eliminate x. 
This is 3, this is 2, they are entirely different. So how can we transform them in such a way they have the same coefficients? One thing you should always remember is the LCM of the two numbers. The LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. So we are going to transform this into 6, likewise this. And how can we do that? If you multiply 3 by 2, it becomes 6. Multiply 2 by 3, it becomes 6 as well. So, second step, multiply equation number 1 by what? 2. And equation number 2 by 3. So we're going to multiply all through everything here by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6x, right? Plus 5 times 2 is 10. Y equal to 31 multiplied by 2 is 62. Then you come to the second equation. You multiply it by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6x. Plus 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9y here, right? Then 3 times this will give us 60. So now you can see that the coefficient of x are exactly the same. So what do you do? You subtract these equations. Well, let me just write it. Mm, I don't have more space, but what you should write here is what? Um, you can name this equation number 3 and name this as equation number 4 because you have transformed the initial equations. Then next you can say that subtract equation number 4 from equation number 3. So I'm just going to draw a line here, right? Subtraction sign here. 6x minus 6x is 0, so we have eliminated x. 10y minus 9y is going to give us 1y, which is just y. This is equal to 62 minus 60 is equal to 2. So you can see that the value of y is equal to 2. So now, what do we do to find the value of x? We are going to substitute y equal to 2 into either equation 1 or equation 2. So let me say substitute, substitute um, y equal to 2 into equation, let me just choose anyone. Let me choose equation 2. So wherever we have y in equation 2, we are going to replace it with 2 because y is equal to 2. So we have 2x plus 3y equal to 20. That is equation number 2. This is 2x plus 3 multiplied by y, which is 2. This is equal to 20. 3 times 2 is 6, right? So we have 2x plus 6 equal to 20. Then you take 6 to the other side. We have 2x equal to 20 minus 6. Because as 6 crosses over the equality side, it becomes negative. So this is 2x equal to um, 20 minus 6 is 14. Then lastly, you divide both sides by 2 because you are looking for x. And x is equal to 7. So you can see that x is equal to 7 while y is equal to 2. So you say that x comma y, this is how to write them in group, is equal to two, uh, 7 comma 2. So this is said to be the solution to this uh, system of linear equations. So that is what we call check. Check in the sense that you take these two values, you plug them into this and this equations to see whether you're going to get the values to the right hand side. So let's do that. We are going to substitute the values of x and y into all of these equations to see whether you're going to get 31 and 20 respectively. So let me start with the first equation where we have three times x is 7, right? Plus 5 multiplied by y, which is 2. Let's simplify this. This is 21. This is 10. 10 plus 21 is uh, 31. Do you see that? Meaning that that is a valid solution. Then come to this. 2 multiplied by x, which is 7. Plus 3 multiplied by 2, which is y. This is 14. This is 6. All together, 20. Meaning, x equal to 7 and y equal to 2 is the valid solution. So let me give you an assignment. Number 1, list. Three methods. 
for solving simultaneous linear equations number two solve the system i have them here already so these are the two system of equations you are going to solve i know some of you might get confused because we used to have terms of x terms of y equal to a constant so here we have term of x term of y minus constant equal to zero remember once you take this one to the other side it becomes positive so you have something similar to the first equation so this is what you have to find